Right, my friends. Well, in today's vlog, we have got a treat for you. And I know I look a complete clown with my cap on the back to front. But if you watched the last video, you will see that I was a complete clown because I forgot to put sun lotion on the back of my neck and it's burning. I put it on my face, put it on my arms, put it on my legs, put it everywhere in every crevice that you can possibly imagine or not imagine because you probably don't want to imagine that. Anyway, let's get down to business because today We've got Andrew here again. Yeah. Uh, and if you missed the last video, then you won't know who he is. He is a viewer of the channel, but he's also from my hometown of Mansfield. Well, Sutton in Ashfield. You were yeah, born yeah. there. And I was born in Sutton in Ashfield. Yeah, yeah. And today we're going to a place called Harry Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Correct, yep. Which originated, I believe, we'll read you a little information uh, when we're walking around. Because uh, we're in Woolabaloo. Woolamaloo. Woolamaloo. Yeah, yeah. Woolamaloo. Pronunciation, pronunciation, the Woolamaloo. Woolamaloo. Yeah, yeah. And behind us here, just up there, allegedly, we'll keep our voice down just in case he hears, because we don't want him throwing stuff at us, mm. coming out and hitting us or anything. Allegedly, who lives there? Allegedly. Allegedly. He's got his name. Yeah. Russell Crowe. Rus Rusty Crowe. Russell Crowe, yeah. yeah. Um, so, he allegedly yeah. lives. Up there. Well, that's not what we're here for because we're off to Harry's Cafe de Wheels and it is really, really famous. So yeah. famous, I believe Frank Sinatra's been there, uh, amongst other uh, loads of people. There's loads of people. There's, there's, there's pictures yeah, on there up yeah. there you is. can see. Don't expect it to be a shop because it's not, although there are some franchises of it now. But I think this is what, where it originated. I think this is the original place. Yeah, I think. Anyway, we'll get into that. We need to get out of here. I don't want to stuff throwing on us from Russell Crowe. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when we upload new videos, or when I upload new videos, well, it'll be when we upload new videos. Yeah. Because you're coming with me tomorrow as well. Yeah, I am. Yeah, <laughs> I've stolen him. For the, he, he, he only came I'm for free one. Free labour. He, he only came for one video, <laughs> stayed, stayed for about five. Anyway, without further ado, my friends. Onwards. No, you said that last oh, time. Oh, God. Let's get that short thing Let's go, now. let's go. Right, so again, if you watch my videos, normally we'll do the walk-bys. You, were, you weren't expecting any walk-bys and stuff, No, you? no, I wasn't. No, because no? I'm doing it more natural. I'm doing it more as if you're here. I'm not putting any music over it because, as you said, you want the ambiance of it as well. Yeah, yeah. You want to get to see the sights. You want to get to hear the sounds. And you don't need some fake music playing over it. So we're just going au naturel, as I say. Yep. Yeah, so, and, and I said in the last one, that doesn't mean getting our clothes off, so you're safe. Right, onwards, my friends. How much do you reckon that yacht is? I reckon we could afford it if we bought it together. Yeah, a few more views. Yeah. If you can keep watching and share the video for us, then uh, you know we might be able to afford it in a, uh, about 10,000 years. 10,000 years time. <laughs> it's nuts. Did you say somebody, apparently uh, the film crew to somewhere? Yeah. Oh, I was in Cairns, yeah, and the, the film crews all came in and I believe Spielberg and some people came floating in across from LA. All oh, right, so, just, <laughs> just as you do, yeah. <laughs> floating. Just going to float in on our yacht. Yeah. Different life, isn't it? Absolutely not. Got some background on uh, Harry's Cafe, De Wheels, etc., which we're going to go through in a minute. I'm just basically going to read it off the website to you, but it is kind of interesting. So uh, I've done my research, I've looked at the website yep. for about five minutes, and I'm going to read it to you. Anyway, let's go and have a look around. Right, so on our left here, you'll see that there's uh, cafes and bars here and restaurants. These are very, very nice restaurants. Obviously, they're not Weatherspoon prices if you're watching back in the UK. Um, they are very, very expensive restaurants. Obviously, because they pull up their yacht, they come here for a little bit of Verve Clico or Cristal, it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, it would be Cristal, not Verve Clico, it'd be Cristal that you'd be drinking. Um, so these are the places here. Everybody wearing their Gucci, the Versace, uh, not like me, Georgia Asda, 
Um, it's, uh, I love my Georgia Asda. There's nothing wrong with Georgia Asda, do you know what I mean? Um, but beautiful places here, as you can see. Very, very busy today. And uh, imagine just pulling up on your yacht. Where are you going? Just pulling up on my private yacht and we're uh, we're just going to go for a little, a little snack at. And then uh, a couple of thousand dollars later, you come out, which is probably pocket change for the people here. Um, very nice. But we're going to go around the corner to a pie and uh, mash and peas van. That's where we're going. <laughs> None of that pretentious rubbish, isn't it? Eh? Who wants any of that? We're from we're from Mansfield and Sutton in Ashfield. We don't fall for none of that. So that's Elements there. Now that place there is a steakhouse and apparently it's one of, if not the best steak yeah, in yeah. Sydney, isn't it? Apparently I've not been able to afford it so far. You've not been able to afford no. that so far. Hmm, maybe we might have to come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Google, push them al algorithms out there and we'll go and review it. Right, okay, so here we are at Harry's Café de Wheels. Now, there's lots of famous people been here, and while I read you this, I'm going to put a few of the pictures over the top where I'd normally put music. Uh, so here we go, I'll read you a little bit of the story. So 1936, the story begins. The story of Harry's Café de Wheels goes back to the depression years of the late 1930s, with the world on the brink of a devastating war. An enterprising Sydney cider by the name of Harry Edwards opened a cafe, a caravan cafe, near the front gates of the Woolloomooloo Naval Dockyard. Word spread quickly with Harry's pie and peas and <laughs> crumbed sausages soon becoming a popular part of the city's nightlife. Keenly sought by sailors, soldiers, cabbies, starlets and coppers alike, Harry operated the caravan until 1938 when he enlisted in the AIF during World War II. 1945, during Harry's time in the Middle East, he was nicknamed Tiger due to his boxing prowess and the name stuck. Upon his return in 1945, Harry realised that Sydney hadn't changed much and was still almost impossible to get a good feed late night. So he reopened and the caravan has been operating continuously since. Now, uh, I'll read the next bit for you, but then I'll put the link to this in the description down below and you can have a read for yourself because I just want to get my pies. Uh, the phrase Café de Wheels came about as the city council of the day insisted that mobile food caravans move a minimum of 12 inches a day. Harry's duty, Harry dutifully obeyed and thus the name was expanded to Harry's Café de Wheels. Before council's ruling, the caravan was simply known as Harry's. Um, lots and lots of famous people, as you've seen there, actually been to this place. Uh, also, um, Ab Fab, uh, one of my favourites there. Um, so anyway, we're going to go and have the famous pie there with the peas. I think it's called the tiger, isn't it? Or the floater or whatever. But we're going to do it. We're going to mark it out of 10. It's going to be good. So uh, let's get in there and let's get it ordered. Right, OK, so we're, uh, we're going to order. So what, what do you want? What would you like? I'm just going to go grab a pie, I think. He's going to grab a yeah. pie. I think I need to do the tiger because that's the one, isn't it? That's the famous one. Um, but you choose your pie that you want with it, don't you? So I'm going to go for the tiger, please. Yeah. And I'll go for... Uh, what's the tiger pie? What pie is it? You can choose any pie. It's a bit mashed Oh, so the tiger pie is any pie with the with the mash and peas. Okay, so I'll go for, I'll go for the beef. Thank you. Um, what would you like? I'll just grab a beef pie, please. Just, get a, just, just a pie on its own for me. Okay, what would you like to drink? Um, I'll grab a solo, please. 
Uh, a Stello and a, uh, I'll take a Pepsi Max, Max please. Awesome. Looking forward to this. It's going to be. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That's Thanks. good. Brilliant. Right, okay, so here we go. So we've got the pie here. Uh, you can tuck in. I'll start then. You start, there we go. Yeah. I've got the mushy peas, I've got the mash on there. Um, this looks fantastic. So this is a famous one. This is the this is the tiger, isn't it? So this is, I've had the steak pie there, I believe, which is great. I'm gonna try and show you this. The amount of steak that's in there. Just have a look at that. Here we go, look. Let me try and lift that up to the camera for you. You can see the amount of meat in there. Right, tuck in, is yours all right? Yes. Do you want to show the camera? Got the uh, pastry there, nice mm. pastry. Look at the amount of meat in there. You got plenty. What one did you have? Did you have uh, the same? Just a meat pie. It's meat pie, got chunks of gravy in there. Got any onion in there? Looks like some onion in there as well. Okay. Seagulls are watching us. They are. They are, yeah. Get away, seagulls. I always tell them, have a word with them. I say, get away, or I'll, or I'll get you and I'll make it look like a bloody accident. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. You like it? Yeah. That's got like a, there's a slight peppery taste yeah, to it as well. Peppery. Very peppery. All the Londoners are probably asking where's the liquor and the eels. The eels and liquor. <laughs> no, they don't want liquor. Here we go. Well, they didn't mind it, to be fair. Um, mm. The pie, the pastry is nice and not too soggy. That's a proper job, that is. Wow, nice bit of pastry. The peas are nice, the mash is very smooth, but it is peppery, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very peppery. It's biting through even more now. That is fantastic, though. Fair amount of meat in it, to be fair. Not not loaded full of it, but you know, it's good. Mm. That's got a real good taste to it. Like, yeah, I've not had one for ages. Real good. Yeah. How much did that come to? I don't know how much that come to actually. I think yours was eleven, eleven ninety or something. Was it eleven ninety for the for the tiger? Yeah, I'm not sure what mine was. Uh, in total, I think. Let's have a look. Tell you what it was. One second. Came to uh, twenty-eight dollars thirty-six. Get out of it! Um, twenty-eight dollars thirty-six for both pies. Uh, Solo lemon, which is an Australian thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, nothing but the finest. Nothing but the finest. You've gone for that, and I've gone for my Americanized Pepsi Max uh, with my New York Yankees baseball cap on. This is excellent. Really, really good. Um, it, I, I'd say it's. I thought it had just a slight. I just thought there was a slight hint of pepper, but as you dig deeper into yeah. it, it is very heavily peppered. So, um, but very impressive. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Mm. Right, my friends. So there you go. Harry's Cafe de Wheels. You don't have to bend down. I am though. No, but you're in shock. Oh, my back, my back. You're back, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think they gave us the wrong pie there. I think they gave us the pepper They gave one. us the pepper pie. Yeah, because it, it was uh, very peppery. Like you'd spilt the pepper thing in it. But I like pepper. So luckily, and you said, well, you're not a whingy oh, like pom, so you yeah. just eat it. Um, I'm going to give that, if I'm going to mark that out of 10, I'm going to say that's a, a good solid, I want to go a good solid 9.4. Well, pie's like a, Australian staple. I'm going to go for an eight. An eight? Yeah. That's good. I enjoy. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'll tell you why, because the mash was creamy, the peas tasted nice. Sometimes peas can have a funny taste to them. They take me back to my school days. They've got yeah. that weird taste. Um, and they weren't too fluorescent. The pie was great. The pastry was nice. It's an experience that other people have eaten here as well. And that's what you come to these places it is, for, yeah. really, isn't it? Um, it's all about the experience of it and saying that you've been uh, and lots of people out there have been telling me to go so thank you for that 
thank you again to Andrew here. Oh, thank uh, you. And you're going to join us again, I believe, in the next one. I think so. It's dragging me along again. Dragging <laughs> you along again. Yeah. So, uh, it's been a pleasure, actually, because it's been really nice. Oh, it's been good. Just having somebody come along with me, keeping me a bit of company and having a bit of a chat as well, because it does get a bit, you know, when you're on your own and yeah. stuff. So, and you've watched the channel now for a while, haven't I've you? watched it for years, yeah. For years. Yeah, and, I have. Uh, you reached out and said, can I come and meet him? Like, I do better than that. Yeah. I'll get you on the channel. <laughs> I never thought I'd be on the Magmaster, but here I am. No, you're not on me personally. Well, no, not on him. <laughs> oh, you need to pull that away. Anyway, make sure you hit the subscribe button because he's got to pour this in there. Recycling. Give us a thumbs up. Give this guy a thumbs up. And give this guy a thumbs up as well because he's pouring that away. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.